taking a stroll down Elizabeth Street, which is located in Nolita, which means north of Little Italy, and it's a quaint little street, but it has a whole lot of history. Where better to start than at one of the oldest spots on the block between Houston and Bleecker, it's Parisi Bakery. The owner, Mike Parisi's grandfather, opened the original location on Mott Street in 1903, but you can still come here to see Mike and get the breads they're famous for, like the semolina and prosciutto. Thank you. Thank you. And that building right there, 253, is where Mr. Marty Scorsese spent many of his childhood years. In fact, on that third floor fire escape, sometimes he'd sleep out there on a hot summer night. Between Prince and Spring, you can't help but notice the magnificent sculpture garden. It's a collection of the owner's travels from the past 50 years, and it's all part of the Elizabeth Street Gallery. Oh, but there's more to the Elizabeth Street Gallery. Come inside. Welcome to Holland and Sherry. This is the legendary British brand's only retail store and you can find all kinds of things here from home goods, custom suiting, tailoring, and much, much more. Well, all this walking has made me hungry. It's time to eat and we're checking out one of Elizabeth Street's newest additions, Peche, just south of Kenmare. <laughs> They serve delicious seafood here. After all, peish means fish in Catalan. And you can find a small plates menu with things like the octopus, prawns, mussels, and then they have delicious entrees like the broiled cod here. Elizabeth Street has been through a lot of changes but continues to be a great destination in New York City. Check it out for yourself and don't forget to tell them who sent you.